How did we teach and learn in the past? What type of architectures did we use and how will teaching and learning be arranged in the future? The past looked like this. The teacher at the front and the learner staring at him from perfectly arranged seats and rows. Content delivery was unidirectional from teacher to learner. Here is an example of that past that admittedly was not fully successful. Students were chatting, some were asleep and yet others sat there reading. And it remained like this until today. Even though the teachers and the seat arrangements changed, thus allowing more cooperation, the direction of content delivery remained the same, from teacher to learner. So as you can see here, Apart from the architecture, there was no significant change. But then, with the new millennium, a total disruption occurred. The Internet. A multidirectional network became available, and only after a few more years, the social media eased the establishment of even more networking, and new devices made that simpler by the day. And on top of it all, the omnipresence of Google has given us an almost unrestricted access to whatever you want to know ever since. So the teacher had lost his role as the only caretaker of knowledge. As a consequence, teaching and learning with an omnipresent Internet has become totally different. A fixed arrangement of chairs and table is no longer necessary. Students cooperate in all sorts of constellations. They use video in their discussions and upload their results and comments to the social networks. And they use audio and interactive web tools to save their results. And the teachers? They assist, they help, they provide ideas, but they do not teach anymore. Their position is flexible and their role has changed to that of a guide who supports their students where and whenever necessary. And already they have support. Humanoid robots have begun to free them from those tasks that require a high degree of automation, thus providing the human guides with even more time for their learners. The future classroom, which is our setup today, as you can see here, might look a bit chaotic. You're right, and even more so, it is loud, but it allows degrees of interactivity, collaboration and social contact never seen before. And I can tell you, this new environment is exciting for the learners and their guides more than ever before. Thanks for your attention and I hope I meet you in one of these environments one day.